Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. One Minute Apologist. We interview the world's leading apologists to provide credible answers to curious questions. Jay, you've spent 22 years, is it, in Hyde's Park at Speaker's Corner? Yeah. I mean, that's an amazing uh, ministry you've done there, and God's really used you. You're the kind of guy that I'm just sitting here thinking as a Christian, going, hey, what kind of advice would you give those of us who haven't had that experience when it comes to engaging Muslims? What do we need to do? Now, Bobby, just, be, just to be clear, I'm a polemicist. That means I go on the offense. There's very few of us who are called to do polemics, and I'm not asking people to do polemics unless they're chosen, unless they're trained, unless they know what they're getting into. But everybody can be an apologist, which means defending the faith. And that's what I think we're called all to do. Now, let me ask, uh, what, what is it that we can do? Now, I want to talk to the people who are watching this. I want to talk to you specifically. Don't fear Islam. You don't have to fear Islam. What I tell to my students, and I'll say the same thing to you, find where the Muslims are in your area. They're all over. Certainly, if you're in a large urban area, you're going to find Muslims. Go up to Muslims and say two things. Go up to a Muslim friend, or somebody you've met, maybe in your class, maybe it's your neighbor, maybe it's someone uh, you're working with. Go up to that Muslim and say, I believe that Jesus is God. And I believe that the Bible is the word of God. Do you have an opinion? That's all you need to say. Just those two things. Now, what you're doing is you're, you're nailing down who you are. Be proud of the fact that you're a Christian. Listen, there'll be lots of uh, uh, people that say, don't use that word. Why don't you define what that word means? And actually go back to who the man is in that word and use Christ as your example. Be proud of the fact that you're representing Jesus Christ. Be proud of the fact that he is God because that's the major problem that we have with Muslims. Muslims do not believe he is God. They believe he's a prophet. They believe that we've elevated a man to the uh, position of God and that is anathema. That's the unforgivable sin. Show them that it's the other way around. It's God coming down, taking on human form. And that's why we know that Jesus is unique. That's why he basically is their stumbling block for Islam. Jesus is the stumbling block, but he isn't for us. Once you have talked about Jesus as God, they're going to confront your scriptures. They're going to confront everything about your scriptures. They're going to try to show you all kinds of errors, inaccuracies, contradictions. Uh, they're going to talk about the accretions, the deletions. Fine, these are great things. In fact, stop and ask yourself, those are the two subjects you like to talk about. I like to talk about those two subjects with every Muslim, and I've never found a Muslim that doesn't want to talk about Jesus or the Bible. You've already opened up the discussion for them. You've given a platform for them to, to actually confront you. Then all you need to do is talk about Jesus for six hours. Now, what better person would you like to talk about? In fact, I can't understand why all of you don't want to work with Muslims, because every Muslim I know wants to talk about Jesus and wants to talk about my Bible. Would you like to talk about Jesus for six hours and talk about your scriptures for another six hours? And you're going to have that with every Muslim. Do not be fearful of Muslims. Listen, they want the same thing we want. They want to know God. They just got the wrong God. They want to know Jesus. They call him Issa. They've got the wrong Jesus. They want to know scripture. That's their scripture. Ours is the bigger, the better. I always make sure my Bible's bigger for that reason. We've got the better scripture. We've got to bring him home to this Bible, to this Jesus, and to this God. The way to do that is get to know them. Ask those two questions and just wait for the questions to come pouring in. Now, you're going to be intimidated because you're not going to know the answers to those questions. Therefore, get up online. Go and find out the scholars. Go and need do their homework. But my favorite phrase, whenever Muslims give me a question, I don't know, is I say, give me a week. That gives me one week to go back and find the answer. And you're going to see that Muslim the next week. And that means you're going to have the answer. And you're going to start building up your apologetics. And you will find how much greater a Christian you become, how much stronger you become in your faith, and how much you start to love Jesus Christ and his scriptures. And you're going to find a whole new area of love for Jesus because of the Muslims you meet.